Hey, welcome to this video. This is Dr. Steve. So, in this video, I want to talk about the three phases of healing. And it's really important for you to understand these three phases because that dictates how you're going to recover from your injury. You see, no matter what you do, there's no way to skip any of these phases. Now, what you can do is control the duration of each phase. And of course, with optimum physical therapy, optimum nutrition, um, optimum rest, you can speed through this, these three phases. So first is the inflammation phase. You see, when you first get injured, let's say I took a hammer and I just smashed my shoulder, bruising happens, swelling happens. The reason is when, I, when that hammer hit my shoulder, I basically killed a bunch of cells. All right, there's like dead bodies everywhere. Cells are like, just imagine like little dead bodies everywhere. So we gotta get rid of those dead bodies so we can replace them with healthy bodies. So the inflammatory chemicals are designed to come to the area. They're sort of like the garbage men. They kind of clean up the dead bodies, get rid of them, and prepare. What they also do is they signal, they yo, baby cells, you know, next bodies, come over. So inflammation is necessary to bring the next phase of healing. And that's why, you know, there are studies showing that if you, let's say, break a bone and you take an anti-inflammatory, it actually sl heals slower because there's less of these garbage men around to signal the next things to come. Right, so but in this phase, you do, you don't want too many garbage men. You don't want to keep aggravating and keep sending more and more garbage men to the area. And that's why you sort of ice to contain some of the swelling. You elevate things like that. Right, that'll help you through the first phase. So the second phase is sort of baby cells come to the area, and they um, kind of need to be told what to do. Right, they're baby cells. They're they're kind of stupid. They don't know what's going on. So in that phase, it's really important that you put light tension through wherever you're injured. And the key is light tension. You see those baby cells are kind of weak. The light tension tells those baby cells where to go, how to behave, how to line up. And if you can just picture uh, a box of toothpicks, right? If I dump a box of toothpicks, some microscopic toothpicks, onto the area where I'm healing, if I don't put any tension through those areas, what happens is it's just a random pile of toothpicks. And that's like bad scar tissue. Right? But if you put a gentle pressure through those tissues, it tells those toothpicks to line up next to each other, and now it forms a functional piece of wood, a functional board that um, can contract and can sort of help you with the function of your body. So in the second phase, it's really important to put light tension. Now if you put too much tension, because those baby cells are not as strong as adult strong cells yet, too much tension will tear up those baby cells basically kill the baby cells and now what happens is you bring back more inflammation now the garbage men have to come they got to get rid of those dead babies until the you know new cells come again and you know a lot of people who have recurring injuries you might strain your shoulder or you don't rest you strain it again you don't rest you strain it again what happens is this vicious cycle you never get to phase three of healing you're just stuck in one and two right so it's really important to sort of respect each phase and do the right things for each phase now, once you have the baby cells there for a while, they start to mature, they start to get stronger, and they get into the last phase of healing was maturation. Basically, those cells grow up and they're strong. And it's this phase that you can do some hard strengthening to rebuild the area. Right, so it's really important to understand these three phases because that would dictate what you can do. For example, if you have a fresh injury, you can't go put too much stress on it because those baby cells are still very weak. You gotta respect that. So in this phase, in the sort of second phase, it's all about light stretching throughout the day. Just gentle stretching, pain-free stretching, really. And that's going to tell those baby cells how to behave, where to go, how to line up. And then you gradually increase the stress. So just to review, you have the three phases of healing. You have inflammation, which is the first phase. You have proliferation, which is fancy for new baby cells coming to the area, making more cells. And the last phase is maturation. They grow up to be strong cells. And it's really important to understand the three phases. That will control what you can and can't do in your rehabilitation program.